Hey, hey, Vinyl Community! Happy Saturday! Happy Saturday! Hadn't really planned on making a video today. Seems like I've been making one every day. <laughs> um, but JT over JT's Record Room is just announced a contest today. He hit a thousand like some of us. Seems like a couple of us uh, have recently done that. We've all got contests. So I wanted to jump on board. I've been uh, following JT for quite a while. You know, he has a lot of different musical tastes. Uh, and he introduces me to a lot of other styles. That, you know, my hard rock senses may not, you know, ever experiment with. Which a lot of people do that. Which is why I watch a lot of other people. I was watching one yesterday where... Um, uh, Tuco site channel was talking and you know he mentioned a band or two and I went out last night to a thrift store which is a video I could make uh, and you know saw an album by that person and almost bought it but anyway I always see stuff people I don't know name wise and discover them and then I go check them out or I run across them in the wild so I'm like hey I'm going to check them out because so and so likes them so you know that's why I always listen to the diversity in the D in the BC so anyway Thousand subscribers, congratulations, JT, and uh, he basically wants to see five things, three different genres. We've done the genre uh, experience recently, so, you know, this is al already kind of fresh in my mind. I'm trying to go a little different than some of the other contests and or genre threads that I've done recently. Uh, and then he wants to see one recent, more recent album that we're listening to, a newer album, and a guilty pleasure. So let's get right into this. Um, I'm going, I'm going to, you know, try to be a little different than just my typical metal type stuff. One of my all time favorite hard rock albums is the self titled Michael Schenker Band, his second album. It's got, you know, Attack of the Mad Axe Man and, and all of those classic songs like Sleeping Dogs Live, Never Trust a Stranger. So this is probably around the time when this album came out is when I probably discovered Michael Shanker's band. So this has always been near and dear to my heart. And then I went back and picked up the first album. I had this album and the Live of Budokan, probably one of my all-time favorite live albums. Mainly because, again, at this time period is when I discovered that. I love that album. It's got stuff from this era. And so, anyway, when I think of Michael Shanker, this is one of my all-time go-to favorite albums. And just one of my favorite, in general, hard rock albums. Now, I want to go with the little prog rock Transatlantic The Whirlwind just recently reissued on vinyl, so I finally was able to get this on vinyl. 70, what was it, 74, 77 minute, one continuous song with a bunch of different movements. And yeah, when they break it up on vinyl, it seems weird because you've been listening to it continuously on CD as one giant track and in concert as one giant track. But here they had to break it down and have it change up and stuff. But great to have on vinyl. Uh, Transatlantic, if you're not familiar, super group. Neil Morris on vocals from Spock's Beard when they started, uh, and Pete from Marillion, and Mike Portnoy, who at the time was from Dream Theater, and Ronan Stolt from uh, Flower Kings. So yeah, super group of sorts started way back when, and they've continued to put out albums. This is one of their older ones, but they have a newer album that just recently came out, like what, last year? Anyway, continual great stuff. They get together when they can, and it's just, you know, everything seems to be a prog rock masterpiece at least in my opinion love it they all do different parts and it's just great great stuff and then we're going to go with jazz this is not going to be a surprise anybody that's watched me long enough knows the type of jazz i like and i always mention this artist one of my favorite billy cobham uh warning album this is around the time again it's funny how you know this is around the time i i discovered him this and power play the next one and so to me, these are like my favorite because I wore them out back in the day. I have since grown to appreciate much more of his catalog, have a lot more of his catalog, still got a long way to go. But this still, I can put this on and just, it's just brings joy. A recent album I'm listening to. It is funny, I go back and look at my discogs and I realize that the greater majority of stuff that I buy are reissues of older albums that I used to have or reissues of albums, you know, just reissues of albums of older. How many new artists do I listen to? I hear stuff online, but how many new artists do I buy? How many new records? Sadly, not as many, and I'm trying to break out of that. You know, I'd like to start buying some of the newer artists that maybe I haven't done. This is a brand new album. just came out, what, a month ago. The artist himself, not so new. Ty Tabor's Shades. It is a... Uh, Brand new album, came out a couple months ago on Rat Pack Records. Ty Tabor, of course, is the guitar player, singer, part of the trio for King's X. 
He has a couple, of, he has a handful of solo albums out before. This doesn't stray too far from that. Just solid rock and roll. It's on a beautiful splattery vinyl there. Around the record there. Anyway, Rat Pack Records. It came out recently. Limited vinyl release. If you want to grab one, grab one soon. And it's just Ty Tabor doing what he does. It's just a solid rock, solid rock album. All right. And then the last one is a guilty pleasure. The more embarrassing, the better. If you've watched my channel for any length of time, we've covered things like this before. I'm sure a good majority of my long-term watchers are going to know exactly who I'm going to show, right? Wait, who? You. Tell me. Yep, yep, you're right. The Partridge Family. Everybody knows that I love the Partridge Family. Come on. I think I love you from the first album. I love all the Partridge Family. I have all the albums. I have all the albums. I have the video of all the shows. I like David Cassie. I have most of his albums. Uh, I don't have them all on vinyl, but I have most of them either on CD or digitally. I think I love you still. One of my favorite songs. Just one, you know. It's just I try to get every band that I'm in to play that. Hey, let's rock out. I think I love you. The people would love it. Uh, I haven't yet to get them to agree, but one day I want to get a band I'm in to play a Partridge Family song. I really think people in my age group would flip out if a rock band got up there and did a modernized version of a partridge family song anyway yes guilty pleasure this is probably the oddest that i go as far as just uh what people would consider strange that's me that's it in a nutshell that's my contest entry jt congrats again jump over there check out i got a link below check out his channel check out make sure you subscribe do all that good stuff and i will see you in the next one rock on and rock hard